All right, folks, Lake Speed Jr. here from Total Steel Piston Rings along with the head of technical services, Mr. Keith Jones, smartest guy in the room. So, Keith, yeah. this is super exciting. We want to share this new product with everybody. You know, everyone thinks about Total Steel and they think gapless rings or maybe gas ported rings. It's all about the top ring. But, you know, there's so much more to a ring set than just the top ring. So, Keith, tell them about what you've got in your hands. Well, what I've got here is a, a, a simple oil ring expander. This is commonly known as a flex fence style. Mm -hmm. Been around for you know longer than either you or I. Right. Uh, very traditional piece, but this is the same style of expander, but a whole lot tougher. Well, I see that it's black, right? So, so what makes that oil ring expander different than a standard expander? This night, this expander has been nitrided. Ooh, and okay, yeah. What we're doing there, just like nitriding a crankshaft, right. you know, we're surface hardening the part into the metal, trying to make it more resilient, tougher, more fatigue resistant, mm -hmm. which is kind of the whole goal here. You know, we're putting the oil ring into the engine because we want it to do what? Scrape oil. Right. And essentially, that expander is a spring. It's a spring. So just like a valve spring, sitting here doing this, it does nothing. I've got to compress it to make it make tension, just right. like a valve spring. But it's Within any metal, as I heat cycle this material, right. it begins to fatigue. Yep, it it's, lose that. It's gonna start to soften. Yep. So you start getting into extreme applications, high temperature, high boost. You know, mm -hmm. Engines on the edge. Engines on the edge, whether that be NASCAR or whether that be Pro Mod. Five stages, 10, nine, whatever they're using these days on a Pro Mod, you right. know, 60 pounds of boost, 5,000 horsepower, it's on the edge. Oh yeah, I mean, let's, we live in the world of boost and like I saw recently in my own experience. Man, you put a pro charge on it and you hook that belt up, baby, all of a sudden, horsepower and torque is just there. Just like open in the spigot. <laughs> it's just there. So when you're making that kind of power, you're making more heat, that more pressure, it's easy to have an oil ring lose tension. And the key thing is when an oil ring loses tension, you lose oil control. And oil has a lower octane value than fuel. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so if you're getting certified oil, lubrication specialist. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but also burst of holes and pistons before too because <laughs> you lost a little bit of oil control and now that lower octane oil is in my fuel and it ain't acting like a two-stroke anymore. It's detonating, and when that happens, yeah, it's a bad day. So when you think about it, more boost means you've got to put more fuel. To maintain proper ring seal, you need to have more viscosity. Well, the higher the viscosity goes, the more oil ring tension I need to scrape it and control it properly. If my oil ring is losing tension and giving up over time, I'm losing oil control, I'm putting my engine at risk. That nitrided expander is the answer. This is the key. Uh, I've seen oil rings in different applications depending on what they are literally lose half their tension oh, in seen a it. Very, yeah. very short period of time. Amazingly, we all right? A beautifully dry engine to a sopping wet engine and as Lake just said, that oil is going to pull the octane rating down. We're into detonation, and for something as simple as this, you just destroyed an engine. Right, and even if you have a modern engine that's got engine management and knock sensors, what it's doing, it's just gonna keep backing off the timing. You're just giving up performance. You're just keeping pulling more and more timing out. You're gonna get more fuel wash. It's just, it's gonna wear the bore out because you got more carbon and just junk in there. I mean, I've seen some nasty pistons coming out of the engine that had lost half that tension, and it hadn't burned a hole in it, Man, but those pistons were ugly. See, it wasn't there yet, but it was certainly on its way. Oh yeah, and no, no good thing comes from lo losing oil ring tension. No. And you think about today's engines, what's pretty common is the, you know, ag boost. We all know you can take a factory engine out of the junkyard, do a little bit of to it, and you can make a thousand horsepower if you put enough boost to it. But the trick is, those engines from the factory have low tension oil rings because they were designed for 5W30 or 0W20 oil. Yep. They, that lower tension oil ring isn't going to get the job done when you put that boost to it. Again, the nitride expander yep. is the answer because now you can get the oil ring tension you need for the boost level you're going to run because you're going to put thicker oil in it. You're going to put more fuel through it. So when you're going to tune it up, yep. you might want to beef up 
your expander. Yeah, you're going to put it into a, we'll say, not the, the environment that the OE had in mind. No, yeah, that was not <laughs> designed for purpose. So here's a way to kind of take a step in the right direction. And, you know, we're talking about boosted engines and power adders, but at the same time, I'm, I'm going to jump back to the mm -hmm. normally aspirated world. Right. Because I do a lot of stuff, you know, Comp Eliminator Pro Stock, a lot of NHRE soccer Sprint stuff. cars. Sprint cars, but they want to get that oil ring as light as they can get it. You know, how low can I go? How mm -hmm. low can I go? And the, and the answer is always, you know, as low as you can without getting into oil migration. Right. But here's the problem. You know, let's say we've got an eight pound oil ring in that stocker, an eight mm -hmm. pound oil ring in that sprint car, and she's dry as a bone. And then all of a sudden, hot dog wrapper, mm -hmm. she's 260 degrees. Wham, it just knocked four pounds out of an eight pound oil ring. Guess what? You got problems. Yep. By doing the nitrided expander, my eight pound oil ring stays at eight pounds. That's the key right there. And it's the endurance that it provides, which is, hey, that's why we call it the endurance ring with an N, not an E N, because it's nitrided. But not only does it give you more tension, it gives you that extra endurance to be able to withstand the different things that happen to engines. You know, we all take out insurance policy. That's your oil ring insurance policy. Insurance policy. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be looking for these brand new endurance rings available soon, coming from only Total Seals.